Jordan, it's the first time we've met. Um, when we talked earlier during the year, you had become one of the world's youngest iOS developers. And since then, you've been on all kinds of adventures to Cannes, where you met Jack Dorsey and all kinds of famous people. Can you tell me, how did you get into computers first? Uh, I started computers when I was um, nine. I was in my aunt's house, and she showed me a game called Club Penguin. And so I signed up for Club Penguin, and I saw that people were making websites about it. And so I started, like, making websites about it, and then... I just became obsessed with computers. And um, like you, you made your own game. Uh, you, you were already coding before Coder Dojo came to Waterford, so you were one of the leading lights campaigning for this. How, how did you get Coder Dojo to come to Waterford? Uh, well, I just saw that they were doing it in Cork, so I just started emailing all the people to ask them, would you bring it to Waterford? And then they said, oh, um, we were trying to like work on it. And, and internally, the, the, you went to Can Lines, and that was quite a cool experience. Now, I mean, a lot of people have waited for years to get there, and it came out of the blue for you. What kind of things were they asking you about when you were there? Uh, they were asking me just how I got into computers, and like, what's next for me, and like, do I want to start a company, and um, yeah, things like that. And, and you, like, do you do, do you want to, you've already started your own company, Jordan Games, and you're already working on your next title. Can you tell us a little bit about it without giving everything away to everybody? Uh, my next one is called Alien Ball Adventure, and so it's my last Alien Ball game. Alien Ball was the main character in my first two apps, and that's going to be a kind of platformer game. You have to save the princess, and that's going to be on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android. That's a big ambition. I mean, are you, are you, is there a lot of work being done doing that? Are you, are, you, are you writing code all night? Yeah, I'm spending a lot of time, but now like I'm on the summer holidays, so I can like spend a bit more time. And then uh, when I go back to school, I'm going to have to be taking a break. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> in terms of uh, other kids like you, are there many kids in Waterford who are coding like you, or are you kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of leading the charge a bit? Well, until Coder Dojo came, I didn't really know anyone who did it, but now uh, a lot of people I know uh, because of Coder Dojo are like, getting into it as well. Uh, well, first of all, I, I set up an Indiegogo, which was relatively simple. Uh, uh, but if, if anything, the trickiest bit part was people coming to it. Uh, I did get a thousand. I checked it, uh, it was something like 1,458. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, but only about 20 of them donated, so... Did they donate enough for you to raise enough for the white laptop? Uh, yes. So, uh, show us, you got the laptop there, the yes. MacBook Air, is it? Yes, MacBook Air. And what, what are you doing with that now? What, what, what kind of games, or what kind of things are you working on? Uh, I'm currently working on an app. Wow. Just, yeah, uh, it's... It should be out next month, if everything goes to plan. Uh, I'm currently experiencing a bit of difficulty. Well, I have been experiencing difficulty basically the entire time doing it. I've, I've restarted it several times, but now I'm hoping this is the last. And is it an app for the iPhone or is it for...? Uh, iPhone and Mac. Wow. And tell me, um, the kind of ambitions you have for your future, I mean, what would you like to be when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're uh, uh, past, past school? Uh, just game dev. Game dev? Yeah. Would like running your own companies? And yes. Very good. What games do you like the most? Uh, what inspire you? What games do they make you want to create games? RPGs. Maybe. RPGs. Yeah. Uh, 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 sort of cr games that let you create things. For example, Little Big Planet, any, uh, the track menu and that. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, how long have you been in Dojo now? Uh, I've been in it since last. It, it was either. Op Late October, very early November. So, Jane, uh, you uh, came across my radar when I heard that there was a guy who'd done an entire Linux install when he was only six years of age. Um, you've been you've been immersed in computers since then, and now you're twelve, and obviously uh, an ardent member of the Dojo movement as well. Um, but you 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 did all that stuff before there was a Dojo movement. So so how did you get into computers? Um, really, I just had a really old computer and I got the internet working on it, so I was amazed by this internet where you could play free games and everything instead of having to go out and buy games for Nintendo 64s and things. So then I got really interested in, and I found this game called Club Penguin. And then I, was, I wanted to make a cheat website, so I learned HTML and then I created my ch own cheat website. With, I've made about five of them now and none of them have, are still around. 
So yeah, then I got really interested into programming and I looked around and I, then I wanted to learn how to make my own web browser. So I found this language called Visual Basic, uh, which wasn't the nicest, but I learned how to make a web browser using Visual Basic and then I made that and then I got really interested in programming. And uh, today, I mean, you may go to a dojo, but I'm, I'd imagine you've a lot to teach to dojo as well. I mean, are you, yeah. like, when you go to a dojo, what, what do you do personally? I mainly help out and teach other younger kids and help them out. And what's, uh, in terms of the things you do with coding today, I mean, you've done, obviously done, you built your own websites, you learned your cheat codes, you did the Linux install, but uh, in terms of the kind of things and languages you're using now and the kind of things you're building and hope to build going forward, what, what are they? Um, well, I'm big into web languages like Ruby on Rails and PHP, um, so I'm very interested in building web applications. Um, at the moment I'm building a web application called Libramatic. Um, we're launching July 30th and what we provide is a smartphone and cloud-based library system. At the moment with the library system you have to manually input all the information of the book and just type it in manually, then it's stored off. But what we do is on your smartphone you scan the book's ISBN using the camera then we go off to the internet and get all the book's information, then we store it in the database for future use so it can be checked out and loaned out by just scanning the barcode again. That is incredible. That could be very useful for me because I'm always late bringing my books back, so it might mean I'll be bringing them back on time. And in terms of your future, what, what do you hope to be when you leave school? I mean, you still have school ahead of you and a few years of all that stuff that has to be done, but uh, in terms of where you'd like to go and the kind of things you'd like to do in your future? Well, realistically, I'd like to be the owner of a, s a company employing in excess of maybe 500 people. Um, yeah, that's, what I'd re that's ideally what I'd hope to be.